Welcome back to Planet of the Apes, it's Earth, you maniacs, you blew it up, damn you! Uh <laughs> anyway, we, uh, we gotta go back to the first level here, because, uh, we just, this would be a really easy way for us to nab some fire. Ooh, we're taking fire to the ice planet? I mean, if I were going to an ice planet, I'd take plenty of fire with me. True, true. And... Come here, you. Yes! Okay. Is it there? All right, now, we're here going to we take go. our first steps into Shiver Star. Aw, even the picture's shivering. All right, so you said you were go you were going to uh, explain something and blow my mind before yeah, this yeah. episode started. Yeah, yeah. So uh, basically, I've noticed a pattern with certain Nintendo games, whether they be past or present games. Uh, Nintendo really likes post apocalypses. And I say that because of the theory that this is planet Earth after a, I'm assuming, a second Ice Age because of what else we'll be seeing in Shiver Star. But also, Pikmin is a post-apocalyptic story. Splatoon is a post-apocalyptic story. Nintendo just likes having the world be gone with no more humanity left and then just leaving it to our imagination on what could possibly be here after humans are far gone. Well, like, well the way I see it, Nintendo... Ha does far more creatively. Uh, they, they do a lot more creatively with the po with the post-apocalyptic thing. I can't talk. Uh. So, because uh, when people think post-apocalyptic, they think the edgy kind of Fallout post-apocalyptic. Mm -hmm. You know, there's steampunk everywhere, and everything's all metal pipes and guns and all that. With Nintendo, it's like a rebirth. It's like we can do more stuff, and that's why things are different here. That's why everyone looks so weird because it's 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 a, it's a different future. Maybe the whole post-apocalyptic thing is just, you know, a fun little Easter egg. I guess, because right here, this just seems, like, extremely kid-friendly. I'm sure the other levels have some some more hints to those those great game theories there, but uh, in Splatoon, it just straight out says, by the way, the, the world kind of, you know, died out and people adapted to all the water, becoming squid people. And in Pikmin, it's not exactly said that the that everything's wiped out, but the relics... Crystal Good job, you got the first shard. But the uh, the relics that you collect in Pikmin 2 are all just things that were there back in the day, and now since everybody's gone, you just collect them and cash it in. But you can do a lot more, you know? True. Because here you made, like, a whole planet out of it, a whole new level with, with ice and all that. Well, also, you don't have to create a continuity. You could just say, world got fucked at one point in our history, so don't worry about it. Speaking of world got fucked, I just fucked the world. Up here was the shard, and we needed fire to actually break it open. But because I did my double fire ability, I was too close to the door as it opened, so I automatically went to the next room, and now it's gone, and we gotta do it over again. Oh, it despawns? Because I left the room. Oh, come on. I know. So, are, you're telling me that, let's say, for example, that last, that last level you had, where you had to break the pillars and you get you get one of the shards. If you uncovered that, left, and came back, it would just be gone. What do you mean? Like, like you know when you it? you uncovered the shard from one of the pillars, and yeah. it's there, you don't pick it up, you go, well, I'll, I'll be back for it. And then it just despawns, is that what happens? Or do the pillars come back? It despawns if you leave the room, and uh, besides that room you're thinking of, there's no way to leave it. Oh, true. Now, unless if it's, like, placed there by the developers, like, to find, they can't despawn. But if it appears, it can disappear. I absolutely and... love that power, by the way. Yeah, double bomb. Thought I'd show that off. Yeah, bomb... Was that... That was bomb and fire or double bomb? That was bomb and fire. With li bad. little fireworks, and I love it. We'll be doing double bomb a little later. I like double bomb a lot. Anyway, let's give this boss another try. I'm going to break this open ahead of time. Oh, okay, so it doesn't actually show up until you kill the boss. Yes. Okay. Ah! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> if I went out the door again. Anyway, got go. it. So, second shard out of three. What else you got for me? Is that ice cold water? Oh, it's ice. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just ice, and uh, there is another shard hidden around here. Hmm. I spy some openings. Let's hope Kirby can survive zero degrees Kelvin. It's not that cold. 
<laughs> just insta frozen. Like, even this is probably a few thousand degrees Kelvin. That's how fucking cold Absolute Zero is. There's a crystal shard there in the corner. And... What? What? Oh. I thought that would be an enemy. I guess it wasn't. <laughs> oh well. God, can you imagine how many things we could get done in our world if everybody was made out of the same material Kirby was? And there's just, like, no punishment for going in extreme frozen water, for going into fire. I mean, there's slight punishment, but you're not immediately dying. Nah, I think that would be the worst thing ever. What happens when someone inhales a nuke? Fuck. Alright, alright. Well, I'm not saying they get Kirby's copy ability, I'm saying they're just made of his material. So you're saying if he was, uh, Beta Kirby, like, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 1 Kirby? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I might have something, then. Then again, what happens when someone inhales a nuke? It just blows up inside him. No, he can spit it back out, man. Ah! Ow! I don't know, man, but that ice skating power does not help me at all. <laughs> it has been nothing but a hindrance. Yeah, screw ice skating. Just, uh, become a fridge again. That seemed to work. Ro rollerblading is the best. Shout out to my homies at uh, Jet Set Radio Live. <laughs> By the way, when are we doing a Jet Set Radio game? I don't know, man. I'm a little worried because of the music involved. Oh, right, right, right. So just, uh, turn off all the music and then it would lose half of its appeal. So I'm wondering what if I could play the PC version of Jet Set Radio with public domain music instead. Instead of understand the concept, it'd be understood the conceptuals. Now, instead of uh, understand the concept of love, it'd be Swan Lake. <laughs> See, I think that would be terrible, but, you know. I'm sure we could figure something out. If we talk loud enough, the YouTube censors can't catch it. What if I muted it and we just did, like, you know, our own acapella, you know... I, I don't think I could live with myself. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. Aww. Anyway, up to, up to the skies. Turns out we're combining Bubbly Park and the Iceberg all at once. Nice. Well, this is just Bubbly pleasant, isn't it? Cloud thing or whatever. Uh, we need a specific power here, but uh, not right now. In a little bit. Hmm, what power could we possibly need for up here in the sky? <laughs> not, not the snowman, but hey, he's always fun. <laughs> you see, you ever played Doodle God? No. You know what that is, though? Uh, no. Doodle like, God. it's a game... It's a game that starts out with four elements. Fire, water, earth, and wind. Hmm. And, uh... You combine fire and water, and you get steam. You combine uh, earth and water, you get mud. You combine mud and wind, you get dirt. Oh. You know, it kind of gets something like that. Uh, I'm terrible at that kind of shit. <laughs> I'm fucking awful at that because I go, uh, earth and uh, water. Oh, no, I've already used that one. All right, how about uh, water and uh, earth? Shit. Um, fuck. Uh, uh, oh, okay, so... See, Combining See, I'm, I'm, I make a combo, and that combo stays in my mind, and I can't... I have a hard time finding others because I'm like, no, I already, already used that one. What happened to use? I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe you and I should tag team that game. Try and figure out all the different combinations. Maybe. It's a free-to-play handheld game, but anyway, uh, where do you think we should go? Uh, to the... There. Wow. Right. Everything else is, uh, pretty inconsequential, and, uh, whoops. Nope. Uh, <laughs> trying to see- no. no. <laughs> there. There. A sandwich. <laughs> Thank God. Sky sandwich. Skyline chili, am I right? <laughs> Sky sanctuary zone. Ow! Anyway, double bomb. Oh my god, you're shooting fireworks! 
Missiles. Oh, missiles, excuse me. They, they just See, have the firework sound. What happens when someone inhales a nuke? There you go. Oh my god. He could just, you know... And bam! There goes, there goes, like, Bangkok! <laughs> it's all gone! No! And then, there goes Des Moines! <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get rid of that and get Spike. Needle. Whatever. Spike and Needle. Or Spike Needle. Needle Spike. Needle Mouse. Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, Project Needle Mouse. Nah. Needle Mouse. It's just, like, I like Hedgehog better, but Needle Mouse just makes too much sense. Well, I mean, at least it wasn't Project Harry Italian. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have called it to that. <laughs> well, he, he, he wasn't Italian until, like, 96 when Charles Montenegro came on the scene, but uh, he, was, he was from Brooklyn. Come on, Luigi! Gotta go rescue the princess! <laughs> Can you imagine if we kept Mario's voice from back then to now? Oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> Brooklyn, oh. not Britain. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think of something, and I couldn't think of it. By the way, did you ever hear how Charles Martinet got that job? And how close he was to not ever being Mario ever? I, I think he just started, you know, battling, you know, oh, what about they? Oh, man, Mario's gonna be doing the thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. He do the yeah, basically, he went in for the audition, and uh, the guys who were doing the audition were just closing up for the night, and he's like, oh, c come on, c can you do one more? And, and the guy was hesitant at first, and he's like, all right, one more audition. So he, he opened up the doors and let him audition, and after that, he's like, okay, we'll give you a call if, if we want you, maybe a week or so. And he immediately called up the producers and said, we have our guy. So he was, he was, like, that close to not being the voice we know today. And now he is... a legend. Anyway, we need Needle and Spark! Four. What? Lightning Rod! Oh, wow! Okay. Yeah. Now, I saw you there, you muncher. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, ah! Got him there, too. All right, all right. So we we need this for the next room. All right. Where do you think the crystal shard's gonna be? Oh. <laughs> what a cheap trick! Ah, Ouch. lovely. Yes, yes, yes. Well. Okay. So let's try that room again. Just gotta get our spark back real quick. Let's, excuse me, I gotta spine oh, my way oh. through. Ow. <laughs> ah, you prick. Oh, God. Okay, I... You totally deserve that one. I will give you full marks. Just, uh... Duh. Just let me make sure I don't forget it. Let me put a pin in it real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. right, Look, uh, we all see. can't be as good as you, okay? Uh, you make a point there. Damn it. But now I'm going to uh, give you a little bit of enlightening. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm shocked you were able to pull that out. Put a little bit of zap into this Let's Play. That's o not good. Electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Current! <laughs> wow, this Let's Play is super conductive, am I right, guys? Yeah! Oh, wow, that was the end. That was the end, huh. Thought there'd be more. What? That was a miss. How the fuck did I? You miss were right that? on Bullshit. that. Bullshit. Uh, whatever. Do the rest of this uh, next. Actually, uh, let's. I feel like we should combine a few more things. I'm gonna show you how bad I am at Doodle God. So here I am thinking. All right, let's combine some things. All right, how about needle and uh, yeah, needle and bomb. We haven't done that before, have we? Mm, All right, that's, that's good. Needle and bomb. Uh, there. Oh. That's, all right. Cool. How about all right. Fire and, uh... And, uh, uh fire. Uh, yes. F uh, yeah, fire and bomb. Haven't done that yet. Yeah, except it's the... Yeah. Except... Yeah, yes, I have. Shit. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, okay, so... So basically what you're telling me is you suck at Minecraft. Oh, God. I hate Minecraft. See you next time. <laughs>